What's going on everyone? I just want to start this video off by saying a massive thank you to all of you. Recently, a lot of you may know that we hit 200,000 subscribers on the channel and without you, that seriously wouldn't be possible. So thank you all so, so much. As for this video, we're going to be making honey soy chicken wings that are incredibly easy to make and taste absolutely incredible. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright guys, starting this off, let's make our honey soy marinade. Into a mixing bowl, add in 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of honey, with the type I'm using being manuka honey, but you can use any form of runny honey. Next, add in 110 milliliters or 3.7 fluid ounces of soy sauce, and you can use the low sodium variant if you'd like to. And then we're also going to add in half a tablespoon or 10 milliliters of olive oil using the Bodum dispenser. Talking about Bodum, this right here is the Bodum 500 milliliter or two cup dispenser, which can store and pour all of your favorite oils, vinegars, sauces, dressings, and or wild creations you can come up with. Best of all, designed into the lid is a silicon ball mechanism that eliminates the unnecessary mess caused by many drizzlers, and it also shuts the lid off when not in use, preserving the freshness of the contents. If you're interested, be sure to check out my link in the description below and get yours now for your kitchen. Now going back to the recipe, we're going to need two cloves of fresh garlic and 10 grams or 0.3 ounces of freshly peeled ginger, to which we're going to run along a fine microplane or grater to create a paste, which is also known as minced, and then once they're both done, make sure to scrape it all in the bowl to avoid any wastage. Now that the honey, soy sauce, garlic, and ginger are all in the bowl, just give it a really good whisk to break up the honey and allow those flavors to become friends, then pop this aside for the time being. Now moving on, here is one kilo or 2.2 pounds of chicken wings that have had their tips removed, and with these, let's separate the drumette from the wingette. In the center between the two, you should notice a joint bone sticking out, and that's the joint that we need to separate. Using a very sharp knife, we're going to slice through the skin just next to the joint on the wingette side, and if you get it right, it should slice through like butter, leaving us with both a drumette and a wingette. Once that's done, add the chicken wings into the honey soy marinade, being gentle so you don't wear the marinade, then using your clean hands, a spoon, or some tongs, rub the sauce into the chicken, making sure that everything is really well coated. Once that's done, wrap the chicken up so no air can enter or escape, then we're going to leave this to marinade for 20 minutes, and any longer than that, the chicken will start to lose its moisture from the sodium levels in the soy sauce. Now that we're ready to cook, line a baking tray with aluminium foil and parchment paper, which will make for easy cleanup, then add on the marinated chicken, reserving the remaining marinade. Spread or social distance the chicken just so that it can cook evenly, and if they're too close together, they will steam and not cook at a consistent rate. Let's then make our way over to our preheated oven that's been set to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake these for 20 minutes. In the meantime, prepare yourself with the green stems of two spring onions or scallions, and all we're going to do with these is thinly slice them on an angle to create diamond or oval shaped pieces. These right here are going to be used as a garnish, so they are optional, but they do add a great finishing touch. The other optional ingredient is one long red chili, which we're just going to thinly slice as well, and it's up to you if you want to slice it on an angle. I'm personally a big fan of chili, that's why I'm adding it, but I do respect all of you that are not a fan. Also with the stem, if you are using it, you can then place it into a compost bin if you have one. Now going back to the chicken after 20 minutes, this can then be removed from the oven and placed onto a heat resistant surface. If you have a pastry brush, we're then going to baste over the marinade we reserved earlier, and if you don't have a pastry brush, just try and spoon the marinade on as best as you can. Once that's done, we can then flip the chicken over and brush the opposite side, and once both sides are fully coated, these can then go back into the oven for 10 minutes, then repeat that basting step again, cooking them for another 10 minutes, so all up 40 minutes cooking time in total. After 40 minutes and the chicken is looking beautifully glazed and golden, these can then be removed from the oven, and then what you'll have is something that looks like this. Now to serve these up, you can do it however you'd like, but nothing beats a big bowl of glazed chicken, especially when you put that last piece on as if you were decorating a Christmas tree. Next, pour over any delicious pan juices that may be lingering around, which adds even more flavor to the already delicious wings. Give these a sprinkle of sesame seeds for a little pop of flavor and color. Place over that spring onion or scallion for even more flavor and color. Add on the chilies if you're using them. Then the final optional ingredient is a small handful of coriander or cilantro. Now after all of that's done, we're then left with these beautiful and sticky honey soy chicken wings that look and smell absolutely incredible. This then leaves us with two final important steps, with the first one being a sprinkle of sea salt flakes to give us a really nice umami pop, and then the second and best step is we can then dig in. 
So just like that, we've created these absolute beauties that are fantastic at family barbecues, gatherings, or if you're just wanting a sneaky snack. This recipe right here serves two people and can easily be double, tripled, and so on. And as for storage, simply place them in the fridge in an airtight container for up to four days, and they can also be frozen for up to six months. As for reheating, simply place them back into an oven set to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes just until they're nice and hot. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button so my channel can be seen by more people. It really does help me out and consider subscribing along with hitting that bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.